my young graph to check for grow well. This is how we clean the spikes of the pitahaya, <laughs> spinas. The dragon fruit. Fruta de dragon. <laughs> pitahaya. In English, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Yeah. <laughs> e. It's the bien. My neighbor Jorge <laughs> or George. We have here Yacon, and once it goes to flower, like these flowers, then we're ready to pull it up. And this then, actually look like a potato. and we have these, they look like potatoes, they're tubers, but they are edible raw. Here's a giant one, and uh, the taste is like a crunchy, sweet apple good in salads. We'll try them tonight. And to replant them, look for the... oh yeah, here's all the rhizomes, so each of these nodes can give more, so we'll put them back in the soil to grow the next one and add some more compost. So we have a ripe Orinoco rack, and I'm gonna harvest it. So, uh, this one is very good uh, rack because it's low to the ground. Uh, the ones that are taller are a bit trickier, but basically, well, there's a stick here, so we can remove the stick. And then, we try to get it a bit closer. We could, basically, we can chop it at the top. Okay. And uh, here we are. So this is a good, tasty variety. And uh, this is the tail, <laughs> the flower. Which what is the tail? Is the flower? It's, it starts flowering. Yeah. So that's how the flower and it forms the fingers. Sometimes there's a, uh, yeah, these ones you can get a little tasty uh, nectar from them. Okay. I don't see it here. It's pretty tasty juice. But yeah, some people in Thailand, they use it in cooking, and uh, yeah, we use it for Halloween. <laughs> you use it for Halloween? Yeah, to dress up. Dress up with it. <laughs> and yeah, mulch back, and then we can also chop this and... and uh, put the mulch much closer because they have shallower roots. So unlike the fruit trees where you want to put the mulch much further, yeah. here it's like a grass really so the roots are all much closer down there. So Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming. We have a ripe seda variety banana. It's huge and it's pretty tall. What was my estimate? Maybe like Four meters or something, you know? Well, maybe four to five meters. My, one of my favorite varieties. I'm gonna see how we can try to bring it down gently so it doesn't break. We have the sticks that hold it up because sometimes they lean so much that they collapse before they're ready. Because we want to eat the fruit uh, ripe, so we try to get it as ripe as possible. Sunny day today. Yeah. We're gonna take them apart after that into boxes. The first thing I'll remove these and see if it starts falling back on its own. 
So we can save these sticks, the pindo sticks, and we can reuse them for the next bananas that are leaning on the orchard. <laughs> Banana orchard. So it's pretty strong that one, it's not going to fall, but sometimes they start falling already. So I'll cut it high and a little bit just to let it fall slowly, because if they fall and collapse, they break. should not have happened but yeah well it is what <laughs> okay can we save it yeah yeah there's lots of good bananas here there's still many usable bananas Well, they're already splitting on their own, so that's the risk of waiting so long to let them ripen. Uh, they might still ripen okay when they're open, but they're more likely to get bugs uh, in them. So we'll see, maybe the next one we'll try to harvest a bit before it turns yellow. <laughs> so yeah, now we'll uh, take a knife and uh, gloves, because the latex and... Uh, and we'll break them apart. Okay, I'll do one just to demonstrate and then and then we'll break them into individual ones just like that. So into the box. <laughs> nice. And lay them out nicely. So they ripen better that way. And easier to uh, manage. So we can share it with everyone in the community. Yeah, these probably not good, but we might try to save them and see what happens and can always compost them and back into the jungle. better to take them apart rather than keeping them on the on the thing on the rack because once they start ripening they all kind of fall off whereas if they stay in the box neatly you could still manage them easier and get the best value out of your rack probably get it probably over a hundred bananas I would say they're similar to Cavendish but tastier in my opinion of course <laughs> yeah, yeah that's probably good for that we have gigantic caterpillar on the King Kong luckily it's not eating it so I'm gonna have a salad <laughs>